Oh! Um, why is the priest on top of us? It is nighttime in Minecraft, and there is one thing that I am afraid of, and that is going back to sleep. Not even in Minecraft, but outside of Minecraft, and I'm about to go into that in today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, strap in, grab whatever you may need, some soda, maybe some popcorn. I will not judge you. However, I will say you need to hit that like button right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. Uh-huh. Yep. Thank you. Anyways, guys, I do say and I do confirm the fact that I urge you guys to hit the like button if you want to see the Boogeyman saga continue, and you want to see me continue this series and get down to the bottom of the Boogeyman mythology, or whatever this is, dude. I don't know. We're investigating. I'm trying my best here, but a lot of awesome stuff comes from you guys with your theories, your comments below, and that's why I always say leave a comment below. I read every single comment. <laughs> kind of takes me some time. There's a lot of you guys. But guys, we have one of the more active comment sections here on YouTube because so many people are involved in the series trying to get down to the bottom of this stuff. And I always say, guys, if you guys keep the likes high and we continue to just crushing thousands of likes on these videos i'm gonna continue these investigations and i'm gonna get down to the bottom of it so yeah the last video actually got some high numbers of likes so as i promised i'm going to return to this series and in the last episode i was kind of hesitant i was like guys we're definitely gonna need some likes here because bad i am really becoming hesitant on even investigating this and i'm about to go why into this video some things are getting very odd and boogeyman is haunting me outside of minecraft almost dude or something's going on i don't know i think i'm creeping myself out with filming these videos and it's creating a weird weird thing okay it's it's just getting really weird but anyways we have this sign thou shalt be willing even in dreams to make decisions why is this door open no, oh, no, 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 no. Why is this door open right now? There could be something in there. There, there could be something inside. Th I'm... I don't even want to look. Because <laughs> that's where the sign is, right? What if there's... What if... There, what if... Oh. Oh, 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 my God, dude. I got so scared there for a second, dude. I actually saw, you know, the villager. And at first I was like... I was like, there's, there's really something in that... <laughs> There's really something in the house. Oh my god, dude, Village, you scared me so much, dude. Oh my god. I didn't know what that was at first, dude. See, that's creepy, dude. The villagers are possessed of this village, dude. Well, not we we have had some weird run-ins with the villagers, and uh, we've done a lot in this village in terms of our investigation and further in our investigation even more. It is what are they doing over there? Anyways, the villagers are creepy, dude. I, I am telling you, there's some weird stuff going on in this world, and we're getting down to the Boogeyman myth, and we're even kind of diving outside of the whole investigation on Boogeyman, and kind of, this 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 study is going on the whole outer perspective of Boogeyman as well, and it's getting really weird because I'm going to be talking about some stuff that I personally experienced during this series. So guys, it is getting really, really creepy, okay? Dreams, man. Okay, in the last time, we went to sleep in Minecraft, right? So Boogeyman was trying to, like, conjure us and even mess with our dreamlike stuff in Minecraft, and dude, this was starting to freak me out. Okay, so in the last episode... <clears throat> OMG, can you please not drop swords very abruptly? That's that's unbelievable. Oh, despicable. Anyways, uh, sorry about that. Anyways, so yeah, we, we, we would come back to the village. This sign was not here, guys. This sign was not here. I just want to kind of recap you guys. <laughs> Re recap with OMG. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. That was supposed to be like a little... Uh, anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, anyways, we come back, we go to sleep, right? We wake up, we're like, oh, I'm gonna go get a nice little fresh, 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 fresh air. I don't know what they say. I smell a, a breathe of fresh air. I, I don't know what the saying is. You got to you know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, so yeah, I come out and the boom, this is thrown right in my face. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no. Thou shalt be willing even in dreams to make decisions. Now, a lot of people have been leaving a lot of debunkments uh, in the comment section below on what this means. We're trying to figure it out, of course. What does it mean? Thou shalt be willing in dreams to make decisions. I don't know what that means. All right. Like I said, I'm really confused and confuzzled on that. But we do know Boogeyman haunts kids and Boogeyman pretty much resonates at night when it, uh, uh, you know, you're going to sleep, right? So like you're going to sleep and the Boogeyman comes out of nowhere and he's like, wow, wow, wow. I might just have to uh, do whatever he's going to do. I don't know. And that's why I think he does have some reference to do with dreams and stuff as well and this is getting me to what i experienced here recently we're going to try to go to sleep guys let's actually go to sleep and see if anything happens again in the world well, let's just see you know honestly i really regret this but for the sake of the investigation do it it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine Ooh. did you guys just see that door open dude i heard a lot of doors opening i'm hoping it was the villagers Okay, hoping it was just the villagers. Oh man, okay. Is there anything going on outside? Alright, everything seems pretty nice. 
Not worry too much about it. Is everything fine out here, villagers? <laughs> Priest, please bless me with some holy water or something. Splash my face, man, because I need. Sir, he he's only he's only selling holy water to me. Okay, you ain't getting any. Why is everybody harassing the priest when I want to talk to him? Whatever, dude. Whatever. Anyways, I don't think he's gonna sell me holy water anyways. It would be nice though. I feel like I need some. I need a bathe in that stuff. Anyways, um, so basically, nothing weird happened again. Night that night two in the village. Not that we know of, at least. Not that we for real flipping know of, right? I mean, you go to sleep, you don't even... You, 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 a lot of people can't even remember their dreams. Anyways, I do remember this dream that happened to me recently, guys. And I figured I would kind of elevate this over with you guys and tell you how creepy it was. So, guys, you know in the last video where, you know, it was... Did that sign just change a little bit? Okay, maybe I'm totally tripping out. I could have swore I saw that sign, like... Like, Twitch or something? I don't I don't know. Anyways, if it did, you guys will let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, and the last thing we were talking about, all oh, Boogeyman trying to invade our dreams or whatever, because we went to sleep, we woke up, boom, this was here, and it has a message. Thou shalt be willing, even in dreams, to make decisions. Well, guys, Boogeyman invaded my dreams in IRL. I'm not even kidding, okay? I think maybe I've been doing too much investigation on Boogeyman that I actually started dreaming about Boogeyman. And a very, very awkward thing. So, uh, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with when you go to sleep, like, it, it, it's like this state that you enter where you can't move, but you're aware that you're asleep and you can kind of, like, you're just stuck right there in your body, but you can kind of, uh, you can kind of sense what's going on, right? Like, you're paralyzed in your sleep, right? This actually happened to me not long ago, and I've never experienced this in my life, guys. Never. I've never had any experience like this. And it just so happens when I'm investigating this boogeyman thing, this happens. Okay, so let me uh, kind of go in and tell you guys. And have you guys dreamed about Boogeyman or anything before? Because Boogeyman is trying to contact me in my real life dreams or something. Dude, I, I think I've been doing too much of this investigation. It's getting really creepy. But I figured I would kind of go over this and just tell you how creepy it was. Because I thought it was kind of like a, a ironically like just an ironic thing. Considering that we are doing uh, an investigation on Boogeyman in Minecraft. But I figured I would go ahead and just kind of reiterate a little bit on what happened uh, in real life. I guess calls I've been playing. <laughs> it's just like what I've been... When you play too much Minecraft, but this wasn't a Minecraft themed uh, dream at all. Basically, essentially what it was, guys, I was asleep. I was aware that I was asleep. I was paralyzed in my sleep, but guess what was standing over me? Boogeyman. Okay, well, I wouldn't necessarily say it could have been Boogeyman, but it was a black entity with white eyes. It was kind of like a shadow figure. I don't know if you guys have played like Kingdom Hearts or something, but it was literally like this weird shadow figure, like man, standing over, white eyes, looking at me in my sleep. I literally can't move, dude. Like, I'm paralyzed looking at it, and I'm like, uh, no. Uh, you know, so and my, my, my first instinct is like, okay, I want to wake up, guy. I just got to... I got to get that. I got to get woke up, right? So I do manage to finally force myself to wake up, which is pretty cool. I thought that was uh, a really unique thing. Like, I'm, I'm literally asleep. I finally forced myself to wake up. I was trying to move my legs and arms, and I literally couldn't because I was kind of paralyzed. But eventually, I did wake up right then and there. Wake up, boom, you know, obviously the black weird entity is not there anymore, but it, it was weird because in my room, I could see my room and everything perfectly, and the entity just standing right there that, you know, took in the appearance of what we have in Minecraft as Boogeyman. So guys, just imagine how creepy that actually is. Okay, <laughs> it, 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 it was more than creepy, it was more than odd, but you know, I, I put it beside me, right? It's just a dream, right? Just a dream, guys. Anyways, I thought that was really weird. I figured I would share that with you guys because in terms of this investigation, like, I honestly think I've been playing too much Minecraft Boogeyman investigation. <laughs> I think I've been investigating this too much. Have you guys dreamed about Boogeyman or any black weird entity? Actually, actually, guys, there was a comment on the video that I read from one of you guys saying that one of you, well, one of you individuals was asleep and you kind of had like a similar experience where you saw like a black entity in the corner of your room and then he just kind of like disappeared in the floor. Uh, to the individual that left that comment, like I, t I tell you guys, I remember this stuff because I literally read every comment. So guys, be, 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 be active. Sorry, I don't know what that was. But anyways, be active in the comments section below, guys, because I, I flip and love you guys, man. And uh, like, I don't care what other content creators do on their channels and stuff, but we keep it nice here. And I just want to let you guys know, we, we have something special here. I can't, I, I, like, I read you guys' comments, okay? Don't feel like you're freaking being left out by your favorite creator or something, because guys, I may not get to respond to all of you, but I read every one of them and know that I'm here for you guys and I'm doing these videos. But anyways... That was really weird, and I, I, I thought that was beyond weird, and I thought, you know what, I had to tell my subscribers about that, because in the mist, it just so happened, after we were doing the, like, oh, trying to invade my Minecraft dreams, then I get invaded by Boogeyman in a real-life scenario-like dream, but dude, I don't know, it was really weird. The reason why it's weird is because even here, it says, thou shalt be willing in dreams to make decisions. 
Why would a boogeyman was trying to make me make a decision in my dream or something? I don't know, guys. Did I make a decision? I don't know. How do we remember stuff in our dreams? I don't know, guys. Anyways, I will say dreams are pretty weird. And uh, what I will <laughs> end this note on is we're going to continue a further experiment in this video now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, a little break here. We're going to get a sip of the beverage here. If you have a beverage as well, I will bid you all a cheer. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now... What we're going to do is we slept once. We're going to try to sleep a few more nights in Minecraft. I figure we're going to see if we can actually get anything weird to occur once more. Because it seems like while we're sleeping, some weird things is going on. And this has been happening a lot. So uh, basically uh, triggering back forth a little bit. You know, when we first went to sleep near in, uh, around the ritualistic circle area. Boogeyman's disciple came over us, tried to kill us by suffocating us, and he almost succeeded. And it was a very terrifying thing because, guys, if you haven't seen those episodes and you haven't seen the previous episodes of the Boogeyman series, I'm going to urge you all to pause this one, go watch them, and then come back. Okay, welcome back. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them, but uh, see, what happened was we ran into Boogeyman's Disciple. Like, we were going to sleep because we have a little hut or whatever over near the ritualistic summoning area of Doom, which I am, like, terrified about. But we have a little hut over there. We went to sleep. While we end up going to sleep, we see Boogeyman's Disciple coming and standing over us as we're sleeping, right? Bad news, bad news, right? He then proceeds to build stuff onto us. We fall asleep, we wake up, and we're in, like, cobblestone, and we're suffocating, and I almost can't get out. Like, luckily, I had a diamond pickaxe on me right here. Praise be this diamond pickaxe, and I was able to jump and, like, destroy the cobblestone, right? So I destroy the cobblestone. We're good. Like, we're, we're, praise the divines. We saved ourselves. So I destroy the cobblestone. And we get out of it. But what could have happened there, guys? And what I think the disciple was trying to do... Man, there's a lot of commotion going on with the villagers. But what I think the disciple was trying to do was infinitely kill us. Because you know you respawn in Minecraft wherever your bed is set, right? So if we would have kept on respawning out where our bed was, we would have kept on respawning back and suffocating and dying. So we would have infinitely been in a loop of dying, which means we would have had to delete the world and no more further... Oh. Flipping villagers, dude. Get your butt out of here, dude. Yeah, get it. Go. Oh, my God, dude. That freaking scared me so bad, dude. Dude, did anybody else get scared by that? Dude, if you guys got scared by that, flip and leave a comment below. That was flipping scary, dude. Because I was like, dude, I was just like doing my thing. And then all of a sudden, this villager comes in out of nowhere. Dude, the villagers are like so flipping weird, dude. I don't like it, man. This village always gets to me, guys. It always flipping gets to me. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever, guys. So what we're going to do, time set night. Why am I in caps? I don't know. But anyways, we're going to try to go to sleep again. Villagers, into your beds, into your the, the rooms at this instant. Thanks. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're going to go to sleepy poo. <laughs> oh, anyway, so um, yeah, we're going to get some uh, little sleepy poo. And then... um. We are going to proceed forth into the next dimension or something. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Too much. All right. So, let's go down and go to sleep here and see if anything happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, dude. I forgot about the black horse over there. Speaking of which, we should probably do a little bit of investigation. So, so far, just this sign here. Nothing weird. Nothing weird. Nothing weird going on at all. Not bad, not bad. So, what's going on over here with this black horse that's been in this village from the beginning days out of spawning in an erupt manner? Some unique mannerisms you have there, horse. What is your purpose? Are you Boogeyman's horse? You think he left his horse in the village or something, guys? I think that's perhaps the reasoning behind it. Don't know exactly. There seems to be some nice farmers there. You stuck there, buddy. Um, how to save a life? Ten. Okay, so there we go. Um. <laughs> anyways, we saved him. Shut up. Sit down. All right. So I do want to check over here to see if there is the notorious black sheep that has a tendency to spawn on and off. It has been a pretty ongoing thing. It's like the boogeyman just spawns black sheep sometimes. I wonder if he has the power to summit black sheep or no. What he could be doing, he could be dying the sheep's black whenever they spawn in this area to kind of mess with us, right? Or send us an, uh, a message. Maybe that was just like a form of message sending that he was doing that for a little while, right? He was just sending us those to kind of mess with our mental a little bit. Anyways, there's a white sheep there. Doesn't seem to be much there. Hmm. Well, we went to sleep two nights. Nothing again. So, time set tonight. Let's try it one more time, guys. 
Try one more time. Everybody into the rooms, please, to gather your the sleeping bunks or some or something. All right. Anyways, um. So yeah, we're gonna. Hello, priest. I want to say why I I've I got some confessions. I I actually. All right. Never mind. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get you at a bad time. All right. Well. <laughs> I may never know my confessions. Anyways, so we're gonna go to sleep again, and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Third night of sleeping, right? Because we slept two times already. Three is a unique number, to say the least. Anyways, sleep we do, or we go. Oh boy. Oh. Um. Why is the priest on top of us? And there's a sign here that says, do you accept? Um... Do I accept what? And why was the priest literally on top of us? Dude, what? D okay. Well, I, 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 I need explanations right now in the comment section below, guys. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, so... First off, guys, NPCs in Minecraft cannot be controlled. I mean, I think you could probably have some AI add-on or something, but that's the thing that always made this village weird. That's the thing that always made this investigation really, really, really odd. Is the fact that pr villagers can, they have a mind of their own in this village, and they're almost as if they're being controlled by something that is beyond our comprehension. And as we just saw right there, right on top of me, as I woke up from my slumber, was a priest on top of me on the third night with a sign that says, do you accept? Did the priest put it there? Like, what is the priest trying to ask me if I, uh, uh, do I accept And Why was the priest standing over me? Dude, I have never in all of my time playing Minecraft been asleep and had like woke up and there was like a priest and a sign placed right there. That's not even possible, dude. What am I supposed to accept? Do I accept the uh, the idea of, like, Boogeyman haunting me? Because no, I don't, dude. Get out of here, dude. I'm destroying the signs. <sighs> I knew something was weird when we walked in our house. And as we were going to go to sleep in our house, specifically there was the priest. The priest was specifically there. I didn't think much of it. But the priest has always gave us very weird issues. The priest, no matter, like, even the previous priest, which, if you guys know what happened to him. I don't even want to talk about that. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in this village. Boogeyman's Shrine is actually still right underneath this village, down here. Oh god, there's a villager right there, and it's the Butcher, the Butcher, the Butcher, which we have had our run-ins with, and he was standing right there at the shrine again. Man, I cannot do with this village, guys. Maybe coming back to the village was a bad idea. Maybe it was a very bad idea. Maybe we should have never even thought about coming back here. Maybe the ritualistic circle. There's so much weird stuff going on in this world, dude. I can't even fathom it all. There's so much to investigate, so much to dive into and just take in. It is truly an overwhelming thing. And with that, I must say and I must aid that you all provide some support by leaving a like. If you made it to the end of this episode, let me know in the comment section below. I need to know who the true supporters are, the true people in the ONG like uh, establishment here, guys. What we are growing, a community unlike any other. We are different. We stand out from the rest. And I think that's why a lot of people don't believe in us. A lot of people shun us away. You know what? Screw all the other creators that want to have their thoughts like that. Screw all the other people specifically that want to think like that. We're different. We're going to create something different. And more importantly, we're going to get down to the bottom of these bizarre investigations while creating an awesome community that's further in this investigation and further in the success of this channel. I want to thank you all so much. And I just want to say that I truly, truly appreciate it. Like, it's unbelievable, guys. And I say this. I'm never going to give up on you guys as long as you don't give up on me. So with that aside, thank you guys so much. We're going to have to conclude today's episode here. I am so limited on time, and I'm so sorry I couldn't make this episode longer. But I did try to give you guys an extra long episode today. So please show some gratitude.
drop a like and i love you guys so much i will see you all in the next one please let me know what i should do from here guys there is obviously some weird stuff going on with the villagers the priest the sign that was there saying do i accept i need to know what you guys think do i accept this or that let me know and with that aside i will see you all in the next video